Okay. We're just putting that foot up. I thought it was already up. People calling me and saying, hey, I need to know. How do I do this and how do I do that? And I'm like, then you got to go to the website and just look at what other people have done. We don't vouch for none of this stuff because we ain't did none of this stuff. Okay? We just letting y'all know we going to put the information up there so you ain't got to go search all over the internet. Well, I need to know. Well, then you need to go ask the person who did the process. You don't be calling us asking us about somebody else's process. What do you think you're doing? See, that's what you're going to get from us. You know what I'm saying? Right now, it's, ex uh oh, it's got an error report. Let, let's get rid of the error. There go the error. Go on, error. Get on out of here. But it's still extracting. So it's extractimulating. And so as long as it's extractimulating, then that's all we need. Now, this document right here, how I paid my how to pay property taxes. See this one? This is the this is the important one. Now the other one, I don't know if all the documents uploaded, so we're gonna take a look real quick. So hold on now. Cause we're gonna put this. How I fought a property tax foreclosure and how to pay property taxes. We're going to take these documents and we're going to put it up there for you because I need to show you something. Let me show you something. Okay, I need to show you it's empty. It ain't supposed to be empty because I just spilled it. Oh, I just spilled it too. Hold on now. Be right back. Okay. In my background is Deborah Cox, and she's doing the up and down song. Ladies and gentlemen, I just need y'all to understand something. Right now, we put up the document how I bought property taxes. Now, we're going to talk about that for just a moment. We ain't going to talk about it at this moment. We're going to talk about it for just a moment, okay? Just a moment. Hold on, sir. Just one moment, please. Um, I have a Mr. Robbins on the line. Will you? Oh, just a moment? Okay, sir. He, he, sir, uh, he told me just a moment, so you just a moment too, okay? We're going to be just a moment -y. Just a moment, y'all. You see, it wasn't that long of a moment. It wasn't that long ago when they didn't understand. This is called the lean process, y'all. I thought this was already up there. So we're going to take the lean process, and we're just going to drop it there for a moment. Okay, there you, you hear that? that? That means it's been dropped, okay? Oh, it don't like what we... I just... Oh, snappity wappity. I, sorry, I did something wrong. I can't do it like that. It won't let me do it like that. So I'm going to do it a different way. Okay, so y'all hold on. Because they say you ain't doing it like that, sir. Okay, let me tell you how long this video going to be. It's already been about 20 minutes since I put y'all on hold. Because I'm transferring files to this folder so I can transfer it to here, to these folders online. So that y'all can have access to them. There's a lean process, okay? Now, look. We're not advocating any of this. We're just providing information. And as I told you, anytime anybody's putting any case law in anything, they cannot copyright it because they don't own the case law. So they're not even given permission to make a profit off of case law. That's why we don't sell documents, people. We never will. That's why to get access to documents on our site, it's all free. Why? Because ain't nobody going to come after us telling us we scamming nobody. They tried it. We are very careful in how we do things. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, one of the documents that we're going to be putting up. I want y'all to hear me. Because some of y'all ain't paying attention. Is this document. But I can't show it to you just yet. I got to pause y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a document that purports that someone did something. Look, it says, 2007, the county treasurer filed a suit against my wife and I for back property taxes. Told y'all y'all ain't be paying no property tax, and y'all ain't even responsible for paying a property tax. Then they did, hey, we gonna sell your property. You ain't gonna pay these taxes? Well, we gonna take everything from y'all and we gonna sell it. Okay, no problem. Okay, I believe that this is so the judgment will cure and we cannot invoke the truth in lending laws, particularly Title Z, and refuse the order and respond with a novation. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what the individual did is he won. Now this happened in 2008, not 2015, 2020, 2021. Now here's the thing, I don't advocate 1099 OID, but notice what they didn't do. 
I don't, don't see, I don't believe in Form 56 assigning judges as fiduciaries. Now you can give them permission to operate your account, but why would you do that? I, I'm not a firm believer in the Form 56. I know people have been doing it, but uh-uh. And this naming a straw person as the lender, I can hold on to that. But when you're doing your property and you're labeling and all that and you're putting numbers, now that they've been trying to get people for fraud because they don't know the numbers on the OID. But when they're trying to do this OID, I don't have a problem with that. Because you're not defrauding anybody. You're stating things exactly the way they are. Because the straw person is the lender. They are borrowing the money from him. We've already proven that. He has a trust account. Now let me show you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not the smartest cucumber that fell off the cucumber truck. And you're not the smartest turnip that fell off the cucumber truck. Now if you don't understand what I just said, a turnip ain't got no fitness on no cucumber truck. Anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I need to show y'all what he did. Okay? Better safe than sorry approach. You better believe it. You better be safe. Wasn't sure which page would be the proper page to endorse. So he endorsed all of them. No, you endorse the signature page. Okay, now if it's me, I'm going to endorse the authorization page and the first page. Why? Because it's an endorsement. Now this is, pay attention, this is the order. Final appealable order from the court. Saying we're going to take your property. So guess what they did to the order? Some of y'all already know. Some of y'all already done seen this, but you done forgot about it. Forget about it. No, you forgot about it. Okay, the order was for $26,000. So notice, it tells you exactly, pay to the order of the United States Treasury. And pay the same to the Court of Common Pleas. Franklin County puts the address there. So they both get paid. And he tells you how to put your signature and your social security number without dashes. Yeah, we gonna put this up for you. It's already up. All right. Then he does the rest, but I wanted this something I need to show y'all, cause I need to let you know you cut you guys keep. Well, does it work? Does it work? Does it work? Does it work? Does it? Shut up! God. Sorry. I I got people. Well, does it still work? Does it still? Shut it up already. Lord have mercy. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's an official document showing that these documents were filed. They took the original document from the court, they got a certified copy, and they took that copy and they went ahead and endorsed it and they A for V'd it the correct way. Like I said, there it is right there. Now see, my screen is taking a little time for it to pop up because I was just doing too much in the background. I'm still extracting things and using up all kind of resources. And then I'm doing a video too and talking to y'all and playing music in the background, Hall and Oates. Hold on. Hold on, Hall. Uh, Daryl Hall, John Oates, y'all hold on to your grits. I'll be right there. All right. That, I forgot. I can't be doing all that stuff. My computer can't handle that. Take a look at this right here. See this right here? There's a money order. Y'all see the money order? There's a money order, y'all. You see it's called money order. They made their own our style money order. No, this was their style. I did not get my style from them. They had their own style, ladies and gentlemen. They did their own money order. Take a look. Didn't put no routing numbers or nothing on it. Wasn't nothing illegal about this. They paid the court of common pleas. They filed it in the court. I was doing a video yesterday. I'm not going to put it up because I'm going to keep it for myself. That one I'm going to keep for myself because it was mostly me explaining to you guys what I've been going through. And going through with all of the energy and all of the spending all this time trying to help you guys with information. Notice this. IRS Technical Support Division. See it? Care of the Treasury. UCC Contract Trust Department of the Department of the Treasury. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that this still works. Don't take my word for it. Go ahead and read his document. That's not mine. But I do like the fact that somebody had their own money order. Okay, I just called mine our style money order and I didn't get it from him. Now, United States Treasury Trust Account. You go, boy!
I apologize, y'all. I apologize because I like that, okay? And I'm doing this video because I could have kept this information. You know, this has been on my computer, oh God, for a long time, y'all. It has been just sitting there. And you know why? I'm letting you know now. Because I just went through some of my documents today. I said, let me put some more documents online. This stuff was already online before, ladies and gentlemen. This is a 48 page document and we're only on page six. So this is online for you. We're gonna put the lean documents online because I thought it was already up there. Follow the format, people. Forget if they've changed their policies. I'm sorry, I was gonna say something and I, I'm making myself not use explicits because people have taken it the wrong way. Like I said, I'm meaning frankincense or farfic nougan. When I say the letter, that letter that starts with farfic nougan or frankincense, them. Uh, but many people are thinking that I'm actually in my head saying the actual word, and that's not. I don't think like you. I have not thought like you. Okay. But never mind, ladies and gentlemen. I don't care if they've changed their policy. You haven't changed yours, okay? Affidavit of original issue. Notice to the court of defendant's acceptance of the claim and notice of court abandonment of claim. By all means, you go, boy. Sworn affidavit. He doesn't have to say a fact. All affidavits are fact, okay? But I do like what he did and how he talks about first-hand knowledge and blah, 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 blah. Ladies and gentlemen, follow the leader, because Rock will say, peace. Now look, he got the QCIT number. The a for reference debt instrument is invested and or registered as a mutual fund security in Fidelity Select Computer Point Funds, PT Funds, number seven, trading symbol, FedEx, <laughs> Fidelity, Select, Computer, PT, X, and is assigned QCIT number, blah, blah, blah. He went to Fidelity and got this information, ladies and gentlemen. Do you, do you not understand? He said the aforementioned instrument. Where's the aforementioned instrument? Where, where's the instrument? I need the instrument number. What instrument are you talking, my homie? Come on now, what instrument? Oh, you're going to make me go search for the instrument. It was right there. No, it wasn't. It was right there. No, it wasn't. It was right there. Right where? This talking about a licensed attorney. Okay. No one else but the affidavit has the authority, permission, or consent, or approval to appear through or on behalf of the affidavit. There you go. You knocked them out with that right there. The original, the debt instrument, commonly known and identified as claim or case number. Oh, Snappity whoppity. Do y'all see what he did? Yeah, that's my phrase. Snappity whoppity. That's me. Nobody else before me. I don't care who they thought they was. Ladies and gentlemen, did you see what he just did? He took the case number, he put it in Fidelity, and documented that the case is trading on Fidelity. Got the QCIT number and put it into the case. Lord have mercy. Look at it. He keeps going. He doesn't just stop there. Okay? He keeps going. He gives them the dunce number. You talk about somebody who said, I ain't playing with these, uh, these fools. You see what I'm saying? So, do yourselves a favor, ladies and gentlemen. Follow the leader. DBA for the corporation known as Judiciary Supreme Courts of the State of Ohio. He said Judiciary Supreme Courts, not court, courts. Now, I don't know why he put courts of the state of Ohio, but this is the parent corporation of the courts in your state, is the Supreme Court. I like what he did. I like the fact that, oh, I'm sorry, you guys don't understand. No, 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 no. This, this man was before me. Like I told you, the information I know it ain't singular. Do y'all understand the dates on these things? This was 2008. I didn't start putting my videos up until 2009. 
I didn't create the hour style money order until 2011. Well, technically, yeah, 11, 2011, uh, November of 2011 is when I sent them out, and by January, the debt was paid. Okay? So this was before me, before my videos, before my knowing that there were people out there doing this, I did not know. I did not know. And he sent everything to him certified. Okay? And he gives them notice. In regards to the above captioned case, the court being in receipt of full and lawful settlement, I am hereby providing the above listed parties notice as to my intent should the sale be concerned of this concerned property be permitted to go forth and stand. The trustee is named as a party in the aforementioned case. It is my duty to attempt to prevent injury to the trust. You go, boy! Sorry. I, I promise you, I'm only telling you in my opinion, the only reason why I'm doing this video is because I perceived, I hadn't even gone all the way down here, but I perceived that he was doing everything right. And notice he puts tender of payment. I promise you peoples, I ain't gone off of this right here. Oh, and he put conspiracy against rights too. Ooh, doggy. And 242. See, he did two deprivation of rights under color of law. 242. And then he did Title 42, 1986. Action for neglect to prevent. Failure to prevent, y'all. Ooh, doggy. So follow suit. Rod Cam will say peace. So ladies and gentlemen, if you don't understand it, I put the document up on our site. This document has been up on the internet since 2011 or 12. Do you know how I know? Because this document has been up on my computer. I can't tell you how long. I don't know. I just know what I'm trying to do right now is create a folder for you guys so you can have these documents. Because a moment ago this said empty. And see it still says empty. This said empty too. And it still says empty. And I know there's got to be something in it because it's taking too long. But it says empty and I'm trying to make sure there's something in it because I know there's something in it. Because it says sample lean process from start to finish. It shows you how to do a lean, y'all. That's what I'm trying. I'm trying to give y'all that type of information. So y'all just got to bear with me. A lot going on. And I got too much to do. And I ain't got no full internet signal, okay? I'm struggling to get y'all stuff on the internet and put videos up because I ain't got no full signal. So y'all just going to have to bear with me. Notice a fault and opportunity to cure. And notice a breach of fiduciary duty. Follow the leader, people. Follow the leader. And stop saying affidavit of fact. You can say statement of fact. You can stay you can state it as a fact, but you don't need to say affidavit of fact. It's already a factual affidavit because it's an affidavit. Lord has mercy on all of those who don't understand. And y'all simply don't understand. Now Ladies and gentlemen, I did the Age of Majority document, and it's the Age of Majority Proof of Life document. This is going to be for all the new SAP packers, and we're even going to provide it for all of our old SAP packers in time. Not tomorrow, not next week, not next month. This is August the 12th. By October, the SAP packers will have access to it. The previous SAP packers. Again, this is additional. You don't have a right to this. So do not act like you can command and demand stuff. Do not do that. You will only be ignored. Because we told you, we will add items to your SAP packs as time goes on. Go back, read our notification to all of you. There is no reason for us to have to keep repeating that to you. We're not trying to be mean. We're not trying to be difficult. What we're trying is to help everybody. We've already helped you in such a way. Now, ladies and gentlemen, while all of this is going on, I'm not going to do a long video. What I want to do is I want to get this video up. Now, the information I just showed you, in my opinion, is fire! This world is on fire! Okay, it's fire. In my opinion, it's fire! Because it confirms that 
the hour style money orders was working before the hour style money orders even came into being. You see, I deduced that the A for B was a money order. Even did a video explaining how I came to the conclusion. But there is nothing new under the sun because somebody else did a money order before me. I had to figure it out all on my own when somebody else had already had the information, had already had the treasury information. Did you see the treasury department that he wrote? So, ladies and gentlemen, I am not the inventor of any of this. I just deduced it from logic. And now, somebody has just proven that I was on the right track the whole time. I didn't have nobody to talk to about the hour style money order. That was me coming up with that without any assistance. Go ahead and talk to anybody else and let them lie and say they helped me come with that. I've already explained. I noticed the elements of A for V. I noticed them saying you put it on a bill and I noticed the information on the bill. Those are all of the elements of a check. Why? Because in my past, I used to be involved in fake checks. I used to produce them. I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't get any money off of it. I was just doing it just to be doing it. But I had to learn how to do it, and I had to learn what the rules were at the time. Now you can't do what I was doing, because then, ooh, you get a whole lot of years. But back then, mm -mm -mm. the laws wasn't in place yet, because they weren't ready for me. That's why I kept telling everybody, you can't do that no more. We already done burnt that up. Like that, that, that Dixie Five, we done burnt that up. Well, I didn't actually burn it up, and I, uh, disclaimer, I didn't actually do any burning of any Dixie fires. I may have burned a Dixie plate, but that was during the winter when there was a lot of snow on the ground and nothing else could catch fire but the Dixie plate. That's probably the only Dixie I've ever, and I never whistled Dixie and I've never been to the land of Dixie. So I apologize if anybody thought that I did anything in Dixie. Okay, I'm sorry. All right. No, not making joke of the loss of life and the loss of, loss of property. Another disclaimer. See, you can't take a comment that somebody says on a video and run with it. That's I understood exactly what Alex Jones was saying when he gets on the microphone that that's a different persona. Okay, I am Eon the person and I'm also Eon the character. I go by the name of Eon. Out on the street, Eon. When I make phone calls, who is this? This is Eon. Okay, I don't joke about that. I tried doing the name change. The court took my money and kept going. I'm not finished with that uh, prostitute yet because I can't call her anything else because anything else would take me out of my skin but I'm not finished with that that anyway I apologize ladies and gentlemen I need you to understand this is the reason why I'm doing this video I keep telling all of you that I know for a fact that what I'm doing I have the right to do I, I keep telling you all that this is that uh, process of that file still extracting okay that's what that is and there's nothing I can do about it because it's a process and it's using up all of my CPU let me re-ram myself ladies and gentlemen I told you that you can do the tax credits I told you that the tax credits equal money I told all of you so what I'm about to do is I'm about to provide you not only proof that we've been using tax credits. We haven't been using them all the time, but we've been using tax credits. We have been using our credits to pay our staff because the law allows us to do that. Now, our staff didn't know how to handle the paperwork because they took it to their CPAs and their tax agents and they didn't know what to do. That's a lie. They knew what to do. They just don't want the regular common people knowing what to do. These idiots who are tax agents handle this stuff all the time. They just do it for corporations. They're not used to doing it for the normal, regular person. So let me tell you what happened. And we just haven't had time to correct this, but let me let y'all know. This is physicaladdress.com. Oh, welcome, Eon. Told you, Eon. So when I tell you that I don't just go by that name just on a video, that's the name I go. Oh my God, it's at the straight warrant. Oh God. Oh, wait, 
The above warrant has been issued against the above named debtor, SACOM LLC. Oh no, a subsidiary. SACOM LLC is not the main corporation. No, SACOM is the main corporation, but not the SACOM LLC. See, we have three SACOMs. This particular SACOM is just a mailing center. We don't even use this particular SACOM anymore as a mailing center. Nothing happens at this particular SACOM. So they can do whatever they want to with it. But no, we are going to take care of it. We just haven't done the taxes for it. Through this particular SACOM, we paid our partners. No business is actually conducted out of Washington. None. But we paid our partners through our subsidiary because they were partners partner Tupac partner all right because the tax debt that has not been paid in full this isn't a, an arrest warrant oh lord thank you I couldn't afford to be arrested again the warrant serves as a function as a court judgment the federal tax authorities, the federal tax authorities, there was no such thing, uses the warrant, hold on, for collection actions such as garnishment, wages, and bank accounts, property seizures, federal tax refund offset, and creation of property liens. To avoid enforcement, call this number by 5121. Ladies and gentlemen, I guarantee you we just received this jump. I guarantee you that we didn't receive this on April 16th. We just received it. Okay? They just sent this to us. Because it just arrived in my mailbox and I just scanned it and had it open. Wait a minute. Interest will continue to accrue the accrual method until the $52,140 in balance is paid in full. I can't afford $52,000. Where am I going to... What the? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, hold on. Let's let you guys see this because you guys, by the way, if SACOM was a sham organization like the individuals who've been frustrated because of time and distance and all the other stupid things going on, or because we didn't answer their questions the way they wanted us to answer, and that never will happen, or because we didn't bend over backwards so that they could step over us and on us and through us and by us. No, ladies and gentlemen, SACOM conducts business in a fashion to put its customers first, its clients first, its, pay attention, members first. SACOM is primarily a member benefit organization. Now many people haven't understood what we were doing, so let me explain because it's about time that people understood what SACOM is about. SACOM is the Securities Acquisition Trust Commission. Securities is what we were creating and we continue to create securities. Our members invest in these securities in exchange for value and the fact that the security will mature in value over time. The time for that maturity is roughly three to five years. Now, the original sap packers, the original sap packers, the original sap packers must understand that we are going to be working on your tax credits. I promised you by the end of the year well, by the end of the year, because I said towards the end of the year we will start, by the end of the year, your paperwork will be processed. You will receive the tax credits. Well, the tax credits ain't worth nothing. They're just sitting up. That's just piece of numbers on piece of paper. That, that, that ain't going to be doing nobody no good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, see that number in the middle of the screen? 52140 Do you know why SACOM is said to owe $52,140? It's okay. We don't owe it. It's going to be taken care of when we do the taxes. We just haven't done them. We haven't completed them. They asked us for more information and we just 
we lost the people who were working on it so we had to get more people to work on it and so we just couldn't get around to it in the time they wanted to and so they just went ahead and did a lean so we will take care of it but ladies and gentlemen the fifty two thousand dollars is not because we made uh two hundred thousand dollars and this is the amount that we owe in the two hundred or anything like that that's not the case the fifty two thousand dollars is because we as a corporation gave our employees well they're not employees partners partner we gave our partners tax credits hold on because some of y'all don't understand so we're gonna we're gonna show you it's called a form 1065 there's another name for it, but it starts with a letter K, and it's like the number one document. Some people know about the 1065-K-1 form. Oh, return to partnership income. We gave our partners, partner, our members, partner, tax credits. But the person who did the tax credits did not complete the form correctly. Now, what I mean, not that he didn't complete their form correctly. Their form is completed correctly. He didn't complete our forms correctly. So now we have to complete it. That's all this is about. But this is what I need you guys to understand. Do you, you see what's going on? U.S. return of partnership income definition. So this is for partners. That's why SACOM has never had, never had, never had anything other than members member do you remember go back and look every single time you guys are called members those who are sat packers because they invest in the organization with their sat packs member partner okay hold on some of y'all oh sorry that was supposed to go out that didn't go out sorry about that that's gone all right where are we going we're going here. Sorry. Look at this. Oh, I told the person to stay away from OID. Saw those exclamation marks. Stay away from OID. But however, as I said, the way he did the OID on that document, shh, do the OID that way. Get a whole lot more done. Ladies and gentlemen, see there's no music in the background. There's nobody yelling and screaming. But you don't worry about that. Can I can I interest you in some understanding? Ladies and gentlemen, this is taxes from us giving our partners tax credits on their K1 form. Partner giving our partners tax credits on their K1 form. Because it's counted as, hold on, ah, it's coming, hold on, because it's counted as income, partner, we have to pay the taxes on the tax credits we gave to our partners. So if the tax credits had no value, why in the, are we having to pay $52,140? So when you guys are hearing people tell you that the tax credits are valueless, I am showing you proof from the IRS that they are not valueless. What you guys don't understand is I received this letter yesterday. As a matter of fact, hold on. Partner. That says April 16th. Now, oh, look at what they did. Look at what they did. They sent it and did not put a date stamp on the envelope, but this shows the date, partners. This shows the date that it was delivered here, partner. Take a look at the date right there, 8-6-21, partner. They know where we is. We've already done the change of address, partners. The IRS 
partners, the IRS said that those tax credits had value, that they were taxable. We haven't done the 1099-Cs. That's the part that's missing. That's why they're making us liable for the taxes on the, the debt. That's been forgiven. And so as long as we haven't done our part, we're responsible. So we're going to have to unresponsible ourselves. As I said, there are people who have doubted. There are people who have sat up there and thought that everything is a sham because they're so used to being got by people when I tried to tell them I'm not here to get over on anybody. I'm not trying to take your funds. I'm not trying to get over on you because there is nothing you got that I need. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot buy me. You cannot give me anything. People are offering me money and I'll pay you if you'll help me. I have a consult button underneath every video. I'll pay you if you help me. I am not going to one-on-one -on -one help you in your situation, do your paperwork, tell you what to do every step of the way. If you want a consult, then by all means, sign up for a consult and I will help. But if you are going to sit up here and think that I'm going to take out of my time helping my partners, my members, then you got another thing coming. Because this ain't that type of party. Okay? The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the one. So if you have not been gotten back to, if you have not gotten this document or that document or any other document, please understand something. We are working on it. So if some of you are still missing anything, contact us now. I just talked to the staff. They said we are up to date on everything. So they may have overlooked you. Contact us and let us know what you're missing and do it with kindness. Because if you come at us with attitude, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. As much as we care about our clients, we're not going to let you disrespect a single member of the organization. I cannot allow that. That's why I'm overseeing the email department, and it is called the email department. Those of you who have communicated with the email department, you've seen that the responses have been tailored and tempered. They have not been bombastic or telling you where to go because you will never get that from this organization. But if you ask a question and we don't cover that, and it's not on our website, and it's not something that we say we do, then don't ask it because you're not going to get a response to it. You cannot contact Eon through SACOM. You cannot contact Eon through SAA. He will not discuss any company business on his private emails. And he will not discuss any private business on company emails. So you cannot contact him through SACOM or SAA. So stop trying. He put his email underneath the video. If he responds back to you, and he does respond back to most people, except for the people who are trying to get over on him and trying to figure out how to how am I going to ask him this so that I can get what I want without telling him exactly what I want because if I tell him this he's going to say no those people who are trying to manipulate me those people who are trying to be nice oh and everything I hope everything is going so well with you and I hope you have a blessed day oh and I was just calling just to say what's up you know and just to let you know everything was okay Thank you for your response. Oh, he responded back to me. That's all I wanted. Hey, guess what? I got this problem and I need your help. Do not do that, people. It will be much better if you come straight out and ask me what you need to ask me. But do not sit up here and do the subterfuge. I don't want to play the do -si do in the games. Do not do that. You will only invoke my anger, and there is no need for that. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this one more again. Because some of y'all needs to understand we're going to bring this down just a little bit and this shouldn't be that big up here okay Whew. knew something was wrong all right as we told you this balance is not because we recorded a profit we will never record a profit we did not make a profit this was because we gave credits 
to our members, some of them as much as $200,000 in credits. And after the deductions, after the deductions, because we didn't record everything, this was from two years ago. That's right. This amount is from the taxes we filed for two years ago. It's not for 2019, 2020. This is not from 2019, 2020. This is from 2016, 2017. And we gave credits. We had $4 million worth of credits to give. And so whatever other taxes we owed for those years they took, this was the remainder. Ladies and gentlemen, this was the remainder. Tax credits, I keep telling you that they work. It's just everybody keeps looking at it as you're the debtor. You are not the debtor. You are the creditor. You are the creditor. Just keep that in mind. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, these documents that we told you about, the document that we were showing you earlier, the PDF with this gentleman and what he did, this is already online. You don't have to wait for it. The other documents, the lien documents, I'm going to have to shut it down and load it back up to get those documents out of this folder. So just bear with me. It will be up. Until then, I hope. It is my hope that some of you will start to understand the tax credit game a little bit more. Because as you see, the IRS isn't contesting. They, this is not no frivolous filing issue. Okay? This is them saying, hey, we're putting a lien against you because we got a judgment against you. Why? Because you haven't paid us the tax says. That's why they put a lien on not because they gave us a frivolous filing. We did not do a frivolous filing. Our filings were handled through a tax agent. Okay, we did all the documents correctly. And guess what we did? We told you all how to do yours as well. It's not our job to tell you how to use the tax credits, how to apply for the tax credit, and how to apply the tax credit. That's not our job. That's your job to do the research. But I took the time and giving you and pointing you in a direction so that you will know. If you want to know more about the tax credits, go back to, uh, what is it, April of this year and watch all the videos. Type in taxes under Eon and watch the videos. Listen from beginning to end because I don't stay on point. Oh, you sure don't. You just keep going up. Anyway, don't worry about it. I don't stay on point, but I come right back to it and my videos are successional. So it's a succession. I talk about it here, then I talk about it there, then I talk about it there. This document I left up. This is our company business. This ain't none of your business. It says the tax debt. He didn't say, well, you filed a frivolous filing. That's not a tax. A frivolous filing is not a tax. So this is me letting you know they need the taxes. Remember we kept talking about the withholdings? They need the withholdings tax paid. Well, the withholdings tax is when you're a creditor, but because this was a business giving tax credits to its members, they needed withholdings. So we need to do the 1099C. And we haven't completed the process yet, ladies and gentlemen. That's why for those years, we did not receive anything back. We were supposed to receive 1500000 but we can't get that. And so after they do all of their business, this was the end result. Do you understand? So while everybody is thinking we're sitting up here folding our hands and we're just relaxing, we're not even taking care of our stuff because we're trying to take care of your stuff with very low staff. We're bringing in FOMO people as of Monday Phone more people as of Monday, and they will be assigned to the new task, not the old task. Can't assign new members to old stuff. We're going to assign new members to new stuff, so they'll be assigned to the new sat pack stuff. All of that stuff we have to do for the old sat packers, they'll be assigned to that eventually. Got to get them 
you know, oiled and greased in for the new side packers that by the time they do the old side packers, they'll be ready. You follow me? Good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, got to go. 45 minutes is enough. Adios. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, adios. Hey, hey, say bye-bye. Oh, I don't want to say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. I don't want to say bye-bye. Get, 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 get over here. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, goodbye.